So what I've learned this last weekend watching videos, that there are true blue Mormons. Those are Mormons that still believe in the Utah Brighamite Church. And then there are the Exmo or the Ex-Mormons who say they don't believe in the Utah Brighamite Church, but still perpetuate the same Brighamite fake historical lives. Seems like they're on the same side to me. Both engage in just smearing the good reputation of Joseph Smith, who, by the way, was considered a prominent and international minister and leader globally during his period of time. More than can be said of these ex mo influencers like um what do they call it rfm radio and uh, the john violin group oh well their problem is they just have problems open up wikipedia because it takes some independent research so let's just open wikipedia now and take a look at what it reveals about joseph smith and the lucy mac family Fact, Joseph Smith's great uncle John Smith was a Dartmouth College scholar and professor who produced the first unappointed Hebrew grammar textbook into the United States curriculum. Fact, Joseph Smith's uncle John Smith, Dartmouth College professor, was considered an ancient language scholar, proficient in Hebrew, Greek, Chaldaic, Latin, and yes, reformed Egyptian, called Coptic. Fat, Un great uncle John Smith, great uncle to Joseph Smith, was considered a theological scholar who formed a series of eminent lectures that formed the foundation of Joseph Smith's free will non-Calvinistic religion that allowed people not to burn in hell, that man was not punished for Adam's sin, but for his own sins that hopefully he won't commit while he's after he's been baptized. However, Uncle John Smith engaged and published a series of speculative lectures that proposed that the American Native Americans not only came from North Africa with the North African sea traders called the Moors, such as the Moorish architecture that populates all of South America with its Roman aqueducts and its Roman basilicas and its Roman courtyards, but also invented the Bering Strait Asiatic migration, which is considered which is considered the prominent theory about where the Native Americans came from, even today. So, don't you find it rather curious that these Exmo supposed influencers never mention the word of Brigham Young, a mobster, and a blood atonement assassin who was thrown out of the United States on the threat of either being prosecuted for murder, for counterfeiting, and for sexual improprieties unless he left the United States while Joseph Smith was heralded as one of the great leaders of the anti-slavery pro um, anti-slavery pro-U.S. American religion. 
he was re well regarded by such eminent politicians as Josiah Quincy, Charles Adams, Stephen O. Douglas, and yes, Abraham Lincoln, who sent court watchers to monitor the Joseph Smith Springfield trial. The trial in which Joseph Smith was exonerated once again from treason against Missouri, where he was set up by Orson Pratt, who testified to have Joseph Smith executed in Missouri. Orson Pratt. Joseph Smith identified Orson Pratt as one of his enemies, as Parley Pratt, as he identified John Page and Orson Hyde. And yes, John Bennett, the Laws, the Higbees, the Foster, they were all in conspiracy to murder Joseph Smith. And they started in Kirtland, and they didn't end until the assassination that occurred at Carthage. So, I'm sorry, I have my suspicions that these ex-Mormon influencers are simply Brighamites in the virtue signaling clothes of, oh, we're so precious, we don't believe in polygamy, but Joseph Smith did. No, Joseph Smith did not, and he, he protested against it and fought against it to the end of his life. So, please, why don't you do a little bit of independent research, and yes, just open Wikipedia once or twice in your life.